I love photography in general because you get snapshots of like moments in time. I just love old brownstones. I think they're very romantic. At just 25 years old, Kayla Santana has developed an eye for architecture through the lens. But she also keeps a close eye on her health. Being a woman and being a woman of color, that it's important that you stay healthy. Well, annually, I go and get my normal um, physical that every woman should get. Um, if I have any abnormal, you know, strange things happening during the year, I do see my GYN also for that too. I don't tend to let things go aside because I think it's just important to make sure that you know your body and that you know what's going on. Today, Kayla is taking an important step toward cutting her risk of cervical cancer. She'll get a vaccine that will help prevent the human papillomavirus, or HPV, a sexually transmitted virus that is responsible for almost every case of cervical cancer. It's transmitted by skin-to-skin -skin contact. And so if you can envision that, condoms don't 100% prevent its passage. They reduce the risk maybe by about 70%, but that's not 100%, probably because there's areas of the skin not covered by the condom. Um, and so because of that, it's been difficult to prevent this virus. In fact, there are reportedly some 6 million new cases of genital HPV in the U.S. each year, 74% of those cases impacting those just becoming sexually active, young people ages 15 to 24. Dr. Hope Ricciotti, director of OBGYN at the Dimmick Center, affiliated with Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, says that's where the new vaccine comes in. She calls it a breakthrough. The HPV vaccine is the only vaccine that's ever been developed to prevent cancer. It's 100% effective against the two types, 16 and 18, that are the most common types associated with cervical cancer. They cause 70% of the cases of cervical cancer. The vaccine, called Gardasil, has been on the market for about a year. It is FDA approved for use in women ages 9 to 26. Ideally, it is given to young girls between the ages of 9 and 11 before they become sexually active. Women who are in their 20s are now being offered the vaccine since it was not around when they were children. Even if they already have one strain of HPV, it may prevent another strain of the virus, providing further cervical cancer protection. What we do here at Dimmick, though, is no matter what reason you come in, if you're in the right age group, we bring it up to you and we, we, we see if you might be interested in getting vaccinated. The vaccine is given in a series of three shots within a six-month time frame. Insurance covers the cost. But because it doesn't protect against every HPV strain, Dr. Ricciotti stresses that regular pap tests are critical. She recommends pap tests starting at age 21, or about three years after becoming sexually active. Then, annual screenings through about age 30, and after that, potentially testing every two to three years for some low-risk women. At the discretion of your health care provider, you may go down to less frequent pap tests if you've never been exposed to HPV or never had an abnormal pap. But that's something you need to check with your own health care provider because it's very individualized. For Kayla, the vaccine provides some peace of mind and further hope she'll be the picture of health. If anything is preventative from you getting a cancer or just getting becoming ill or just um, being involved in your health, I think that it's just important for you to have this done it would be sad to look back and say I should have gotten the vaccine.